It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. 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 Name another podcast like this. Big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy E CEO. And I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, I'm a devil. Hey, man. Hey, we got special guests in here today, man. They don't really need an introduction, man. You he real close up on the mic, too. You can hear it, man. Yeah, he used to the radio as well, man. Say, man, my my guy is a comedian. My guy's an actor. He does all type of stuff in the community, too. We ain't gonna leave that out. Appreciate that. Hey, man, D. Ellis is in the building what with up, his what up, lovely man. wife, Beautiful Misty. Wife. Yeah, Misty yeah. with an eye. Misty <laughs> with an eye. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, hey, mm. man. Got me choked up. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, man, hey, man, so what's going on? Hey, man, I'm, I'm blessed, man, but the fact that you said hey, amen at the big shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he said hey, amen. He's, he was like, big shit, hey, hey. amen, <laughs> hey, amen. <laughs> Big shit. I mean, already. Say from Bubba Dub and uh, uh, Chinas Myron to this. Man. I know, right, man? So, first of all, thank y'all for having me, man. Uh, you know, we tried to do our interview at, yeah. at the premiere of uh, Lady Luck 2. Lady Luck 2. Mm -hmm. I didn't like was in there the, talking. Yeah, yeah, I didn't like it. It was, it was a lot going on. It's a uh, lot. Cliff had I, everybody right there. Together. I loved it as far as getting to meet the people, but yeah. just the... You know how we secluded in yeah. here. I, I, I like that. I lovely like, store, by the way, hey, man. Hey, man. Let me say that it's a it's a lovely store, man. Like, you know, it's different et ethnic backgrounds outside. They got some Topo Chico water <laughs> next door, and <laughs> see some Chinese folk. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? When we when we turned down the street, they say you are now approaching the hood. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that's and to be over it, here, though. man. Like like for the years we've been to see the kids grow up in this neighborhood. That's dope, when man. you go from from say 10 years ago you can go back further than that wow. and you see kids go from being 10 years old to 20 years old it's amazing come on it? man stop yeah, playing lot, and you've been providing for them so you know makes some of, difference some of them get out the feds too and come back and be like man y'all still, still here thought about this the whole time mm -hmm. i gone he said get out the feds <laughs> hey you know i'm gonna go to jail but i'll be back <laughs> <laughs> they do that i promise I'm telling you, they do they, they do that. wow that's dope though that's dope man that's and you dope, got man. me when i when i come out i'm like yeah we yeah, got yeah, you you got you you are they right right from prison we get letters here. Wow. They are right just because they be like, man, just trying to see what the new clothes is. Or I know, Some right. of them got life and be like, my son, I would love for my son to uh, get, you, if you link up with my son, oh, I'm trying man. to, you know, do something for him. And they getting checks in jail. Oh, wow. So he's trying to figure out ways he's to get He's buying his. the clothes from jail yes. for him. Wow. I don't even want to know what they're doing. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> man, you know, I, I, I was surprised. Some people said st like the stimulus checks and everything going into the jailhouses, bro. Wow. I'm not playing. So I want to. Uh, yeah, so them. so my thing is, uh, listen, I, I got a beautiful wife. I ain't finna leave it and go to jail to get a stimulus check just to say it to her. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. Hey, mister, I, I got a plan for us. I'm going to go to jail. I'm going to get the stimulus. And then I, just my luck, it will not work out like that. Be like, you know, it is what it is, man. So, yeah, my beautiful wife is in here, man. We'll be married five years. Five wow. years? Next month. We've been together uh, 37,000 years. <laughs> it seems like that yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But, it, you know. It's a beautiful thing when you got a beautiful partner, man. Cause she How long y'all been together you. before you got married? Uh, 17,000 years. Seven, yeah, seven 17, years. 17,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what took you so long? You know what? To put that uh, ring on. Yes. You know what? It it, it, it was it was me. Tell I the truth. Shame to Yeah, it was me. You know what I'm saying? Then she kept telling me no. She kept telling you, you told no? told him no. <laughs> Wow. She Look said, her mind is telling me no. Uh, <laughs> time is running out. She did. And she didn't know when I was going to get ready to uh, you I know, said, propose listen, to her. if you're not ready, go ahead with your career. I'm yeah. good with that, but I will not wait on you. I'm yeah. sorry. And she, you know, and then she went out. But when she I waited did seven years, though. I did. Yeah, that's she why did. I was like, that's enough. <laughs> hey, I got a partner. His girl is still waiting, and it's 19. Man, do real? He didn't say a name. Don't do that. My bad. <laughs> They're common law husband and wife. They, I don't know. If, uh, that's uncommon. That's that's uncommon. No, but you know what? I've I've asked so many people that question, and they'll say it's because as soon as you get married, it all falls apart. Once you put that on paper, so some people feel, you know, it's a mental block for them yeah. because they've seen things in the past, whether their mom, dad, uncle, friends, whatever, mm -hmm. that as soon as you say I do. All of a sudden, everything start to go left. But I had I had an uncle that was that was that was married to another chick and started living with another chick. Never got a divorce. He died and 
everything. He was still married to another lady. Then with one other lady. I wonder why they was fighting all the time. Man. So when she died, the wife got everything, and then Man, the my, one who lived with her didn't get none. My Live uncle didn't have nothing. He went from you know, walk, you know. I, I think it, it was a lot to do because he used to do pain and body work and stuff like that. So he inhaling went, all the things. Yeah. Fumes. So he he really was in. Um, uh, a convalescent home for, for the rest of his life. So I, I would hate to live like that. So when he passed away, my mama was crying. I said, Mama, would you really like to live like that where you can't talk to nobody or say yeah. nothing? You, mm -hmm. uh -uh. you know, Lord, come get me. Yeah. I don't yeah. even want that. Let me ask you, let, let's go back let's a go little bit it. into your, like your background for Listen. our listeners, man. We, we, Definitely want people Tell to know. Tell them who you are. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, it's your man, D. Ellis Smith Entertainment. Dallas King of Comedy, man. Um, no, before that. Before all that. You, uh -uh. Are not, you were not a funny man as a 10-year-old uh, kid growing up. Oh, so I, I, you know what? I, I, I got to say. was a jokester? Say, I was a joke. I've been a jokester my whole life. Really? Pretty much. I, I, especially going into junior high, I got a... Um, uh, they called it uh, class, class clown. clown. Then it was there's court gesture or something like that in high school. So I never did step into comedy, but I've been doing music for years. You know, since I was twelve Where, years old. Who did you get your sense of humor from? Mama and dad. Both. Both. And Missy can tell you, my mom and it's dad crazy. The mother. She His is mother off is the chain. Yeah. He gets the smooth, you know, talking, charming. From, from his, his dad. father, yeah. Yes. yeah, 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 yeah. So my, my dad could talk to the, the drawers to rank off a mannequin. Who liked to rank on people? My, my mama. <laughs> <laughs> and she real good. Yeah, yes. she'll talk about you right there. In your face. In your face. And I, I get, I got, my dad told me that. He was like, she would be there laughing at people, so he's had to save her <laughs> a few times. Cause she would bust out laughing at people. And I, and then Missy would tell me, she'd be like, man, you can't say that about people and you know, or you know, and I just be like, I see it, and just well, you know, y'all done been yeah, to a couple oh, shows. I seen it. You know, oh, you ain't it. playing no games. I'm sitting <laughs> way in the back. I'm not sitting close up. I'm over yeah. here. No, I'm, you can sit close up, but it's just don't say is, nothing. Don't say don't, nothing. Don't, don't, don't start get up it. and dance. Oh, do when don't the dude, start when it. dude did that at the improv, I was like, you gonna do this while I'm on stage, bro? Okay, all right. You know, man. Man. but I felt bad for him at one point because when he it, he was done with it. No, he was done with it, and he. Kept saying he's done. He said, "Bro, you won. You, you won. won. You yeah. won." He got up, did all of that, and you kept going in. And I'm over there sitting down, like, "Please don't fight. Please don't fight." Like, but what? What, what is? I mean, yeah. What is, is that heckling? Like, what is the things that you face uh, when you're on that stage that kind of catches you? You nothing catches you by surprise. Now you've been doing it so yeah, long. Yeah, you know what, man. Um, uh, either if my wife is with me or, or, or my partners, I, I'll sit there and actually. Observe the room mm -hmm. and say, "Okay, I'm gonna get their ass." And I and and, and, and I, I sometimes I say something to her or I won't, and I see something and just be like, "Okay," but more than likely, I, I pretty much set the tone. Yeah. Once, once you know, if you say something to me, you know, what I'm saying that's your ass. Has there ever been a time where it's gotten so serious where mm -hmm. it's almost like they finna come up there and snatch oh, you they, type of thing? They, they've actually give me came on stage. Give me an incident. Incident. Uh, incident. incident. Uh, when we first got together, it was mm -hmm. a guy a year before I had talked about him so bad. I think I called him uh, Johnny Gill. Uh, his head was so big or something. I had called, I had clowned him so bad. So the follow the next year, I was doing another show with him. He had his old lady with him. And his last, her last name was Ellis too. I'm like, hey, what's up, sis? You know. So he literally got on stage, act like he was finna fight me or whatever. And I was like, man, listen, don't get these jokes fucked up. <laughs> So we was literally about as close as I am to this microphone. Really? Yeah, yeah, bro. Real talk. That, she was so there. How did that de, -es de escalate? How'd you de escalate it? You know, it just, hey, I thought you he thought, I guess, I guess you thought I was a punk or something, because it, it wasn't finna go down. Was like he bigger that. than you? Uh, no, we about the same, about the same height. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I was gonna let the, uh, the air out his head for him. Yeah, bro. yeah, you weren't to hear it. You weren't nah, trying to hear bro, it. I wasn't. I already know. Crazy. This is the following year. This is not yeah, even. This nigga from it, it had been on his, like been on his, on his mind the whole year. He said, "You know what? When he come back into town, <laughs> I am going to buy this ticket, and I'm going to be right here <laughs> yeah. in front. And you were right waiting there. on him. You shout, know, shout, shout out to East Texas, man. We in the building. We do fight. Yeah. Now, wow. I, now uh, another incident was uh, a guy I talked about. He had a hole in his throat. Mm. What from smoking? He had a hole in his throat, and I <laughs> <laughs> this dude right here, man. I was literally stomping at him while he was off stage, and he because my my brother with him shout out to my man Kirk, and Kirk was holding him back, and I was stomping at him like you know, so you don't even want this smoke. So I said, man, I'll put my finger in that hole and get the. <laughs> 
What did he Get say? Oh, he couldn't say nothing. He couldn't, I, he, I couldn't even see the words coming out of his throat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but I was. Uh, it's, wow. It's, it was. But we wound up talking afterwards, and it was cool. But it was uh, folks were dying. Bro, folks but in a case dying. like that, do anybody like do? You know, some people take things up on their head. Although you weren't talking to that person or about that person, but because it's a certain instance you're yeah. talking about. Have you ever had somebody that's taken it upon themselves to say something to you? Like, even a case like that with somebody, with a, some people might get offended. Me. Be like, <laughs> that's me. That's you. <laughs> be like, husband, yeah, like, 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 yeah. don't talk about that. The far. person have cancer in their yeah. throat. Da, da, da. That's yeah. me. Yeah, and, you know, and it, it, it's, 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 you know, my mind, once I get to going, it, it, it's, 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 it's no filter. A lot of times right now, people are more sensitive to comedy than they was back in the day because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm between them two generations. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? So Richard Pryor wasn't wasn't afraid, uh, Bernie, Robin Harris. So I'm cut from that type of cloth, you know what right. I mean? So, you know, if you let folks go ahead and try to dim your light or, you know, everything, everybody may not find everything funny, but she had to get on me a couple of times. Um, I was with Lavelle Crawford and I, we had like six shows one weekend. So uh, she came to the first of three one, one night and um, had everybody cracking up. But she's so honest with me. She said, nah, that wasn't it. You know what I'm saying? So she made me step my game up. And she's like, don't let nobody, you know, pretty much try to tell you not to be funny. And I almost fell into that trap. You know what I mean? And ever since then, I really don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? So I try to be... Have a lot of try to have not a lot, a lot. Try to have a little sympathy, but you know, and I try to look at the person and see how their body language is and and stuff like that. So you know, but as far as um, I just don't have no filter. And having Misty by your side and even at your shows, it's very it's important because yeah. she she observes the room too. She okay. she hey, don't let my wife fool you now. Yeah, she keep a she keep a look she keep a little gun uh, not a gun but a little Wait. knife on her. She got a knife confiscated. <laughs> so, you can get it. Some. Say, don't bro. Hey, you know, but my my wife cool, but she don't play no games. No, and I get it. That's I, good. Cause what I was thinking about when when he said that, um, she's totally honest with you. I think about Taylor Gabriel, how he was talking about his wife, yeah, and say that because he played football, and how when you go out there, everybody blow your head up and yeah. say all this stuff about you know about you. But yeah. whenever you get home, mm -hmm. she's the one who's gonna really put you back in place and really tell you the business. The truth. Oh yeah, she and she and she definitely does that. But she'll tell you when I'm home. I'm like, man, I'm so chill. Um, you know, we always laugh. We'll watch our little murder mysteries. <laughs> Cause she can't go to sleep with the the loud action pack <laughs> stuff, man. She wanna watch something that's calm. Okay, okay, somebody getting stabbed. Okay, I can go to sleep now. That's, 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 that's my wife. You know what I mean? <laughs> but the best thing that ever happened to me, man, I always tell her she's the best woman that ever happened to me. Period. You know what I mean? I mean, best relationship. You know, she she makes me a whole lot better. And I'm not saying it because she's here. But you know what I'm saying? Maybe because I want something later, but just. You, you got to talk you right. Sound, you ooh, do, you, you sound to. like somebody had no doubt. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, when they, and, and man, when they walk around the house naked. It's sad, ooh, bro. But, hey, dog, I'm a, I'm still perverted. I am to too. Her. I'm like. But when you have kids and everybody at home, you can't always do it. Yeah. You figure it out. <laughs> well, hey, you know, we got two teenagers. I'm like, shoot. Hey, I, hey, Mama Holland, you know, just letting you know I'm, I'm pinching her something. <laughs> On the ass, you may hear a little something that you ain't supposed to hear. The kids were listening to something on TikTok earlier, and one of my oldest son, the song said something about pulling out the double D's, which was the breast. And so I'm working, and I said, "Y'all want me to pull out these double D's?" And he said, "Mama, no." Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't want to be. You don't want Mama to be that I nasty. Laughing. I was like, "No discount, double check." Yeah, that's, that's what I was talking about. Man, so you know uh, when you and then especially you know you never want to hear stuff like that about your parents, like my mom and dad. I know my kids always do the same thing to me. They hate uh, it. That like, mama, please. Don't be that nasty. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah we like, can, how you we think just you got hug and they be tripping. I'm like, we before we, before y'all even got in this house, we was already here what? kicking it. Y'all tripping. It. Without, the, without the magic, you guys don't exist. Man, listen. <laughs> I am the booty. I got to go to sleep gripping her booty. <laughs> it is a must. I rub that ass like the Apollo log. <laughs> Coming to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> How you man. think you're going to do this evening? I'm going to do well. I'm going to do well. Listen, man. Well, she know that if you don't rub it, something oh, wrong. Yeah, yeah. What's, she, what, she what's wrong with you today? She, she even sleep. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I touch anything else, she going to wake up. Yeah. She going to jump. She going to be like, wait a minute. Hey, yeah. And nobody tell you to go down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as I'm keeping my hand on the ass, 
she stay asleep. But if I go anywhere else, if I if I touch any camel or toe, it's it's over. It's over. Hey, hey. 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 <laughs> My bad. Hey, I'm just saying. Say, so let me ask you this, man, because when I came to the uh, comedy show, yes, me and Bubba Dub had talked because yeah. that's my guy, you know. And love I was it, like, man, love I it. never knew you were going to be there. Okay. I know okay. nothing about you going to be there. Okay. I'm there to see Bubba Dub. Me and Bubba Dub talk. Yeah. That's my guy. Good I don't dude. know. Love but me and you, when I met you, it was on something different. Yes, sir. When I get there and I see, I said, look at, I had to I had to get up and, and try to shake your hand, hug you or something. Man, thank because you. Because I was like, dang, man, God done blessed me, man. My he God didn't even here. know until I touched him and said, yes, he is like, here. I said, what? <laughs> what is he doing here? Because I know you from acting, so I, yeah. wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. So, yeah. man, thank you, man. I was very, very, I was happy. You made so my night. So you didn't night. know he was a comedian? I didn't know none of that. Wow. I oh, knew. Wow. Wow. wow! I didn't. I didn't. I'm just telling you. My yeah. mind be focused on what I'm doing yeah, so yeah, much. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I'm just like doing whatever I can to be a part of whatever's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm this one track minded dude trying to yeah. make sure I focus on what I'm focusing on. But then when I seen that, it was just like, dang man, I'm blessed to be here, man. man and then you made you. the you made this show worth wow, man. Like thank you. like you and Bubba Dub and all those all of those acts that night. I had met yeah. that other little guy before. Uh, mm -hmm. I met. I, uh, he said he was. Dion's son, but I don't think he's Dion's son. He's like Dion's son, the boy with the with the braids. The dreads. Okay, with the okay, dreads. yeah. And I met him. I, what is his name? He gonna be mad at me because I don't. Man, I know. I, and I, I gotta look back at the names and stuff I too. Say, you know, man. I know. Oh, I, that's why you had your phone. Be like, okay, who's name? Yeah, he was so on it. Hey, I gotta like, get my phone. He hey. in my phone. He got. I got his number. Man, I had so much fun, man. And um, you know, my Rat Packs of Comedy tour was in that same building uh, um, about a year or two ago when we started the Rat Packs of Comedy. Okay. Um, that's me, Shed G, uh, Q, which is married to Spinderella, um, and my boy Grossman out of Houston. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is my own tour. This is the jacket and everything, my guys. And so when you see that tour, when you see all us when together. When is that starting? So we'll be, we doing a date in April, but I'm going back home. I just booked March 26th. One of my guys just moved here. Man, he put the money down. You going back to Texas County? I'll be there. Yeah, so March twenty sixth. March twenty sixth. March twenty sixth. So it's right. me. Put that on the calendar. Calendar. I'll be there. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. Say, nigga, I'll be there. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Where? It's up. gonna be. It's gonna be at Holiday Inn. The will Center. you post it I on your page? Pull. Yes, I actually, oh. I was gonna do it before because I, I went to the dentist today, boy. And I, I'm talking my mouth was numb. Who all coming? It's uh, Spinderella's on the ticket too, so you she's need, DJing. So, yeah, so yeah, I need to get her over here too. I oh, gotta yeah, get that's over. My girl. That's Nareen, my sister. Right before that, I need to get her over here so we okay. can talk about it. Yeah, it'll be like a build up. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so she do certain dates with it, which I'm very grateful um, for. Man, we've been cool since 2009 before her and Q got married, and um, you know I was at their wedding. Uh, screaming fuck salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> my wife can tell you that I I grabbed. I, I wasn't even supposed to speak at the wedding. Really. What did the best man do? He managed to mess around and hand me the microphone, didn't he? He said, um, hey, but he came, he said, hey, D, I'm going to hand you the mic. And once he did that, bruh, wow. it was a wrap, It man. was a wrap. Yeah, 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 man. So Q is grateful. a cool dude. Man, right. Q is my dude, man. And, um, I started I started Q off, um, not started him off in comedy, but, you know, I really helped him along. And I took him to Colleen for a whole year just to see where his progression. And, uh, you know, every one of my guys is, is just real – down to earth, shed, shed G has worked with Prince and, and some of everybody. So everybody has their own lane. So when we come together, it's like Voltron, bro. So, and how, uh, it's just dope. How Boy. hard is it, like, like to, uh, okay, the, for me, T.I. done got in a uh, com yeah, comedy. Yeah, I just He hitting the stage. He been hitting, it, he said for the last two or three months, every night, every show he can hit, he not every night. He yeah. trying to get himself right. How hard is that process to get, he used to be on stage. He used to deal yeah. with people, but well, comedy is a different lane. That's what I know. So explain to me, like, how you would, from your perspective, think that would be to to cut to to cross over. Well, you know, since I do more than one thing, you know, what I mean, I didn't I didn't really trip on it, but you know, what I mean, you can't. He'll probably get more of a pass because in of a sense because of who he is. So they'll be more lenient. But a Negro like me that's just coming up, you're gonna really be. You gotta be funny, you are you. You know what I'm saying? Because I went through that whole phase of, I started off with Nanette Lee years ago. Yeah, when man. Fat Tuesday, when Fat Tuesday was popular. Well, Junebug, Junebug. Yeah, I don't know where the hell Junebug been eating good <laughs> too. Junebug been eating Junebug. That's what God. <laughs> Last time I saw him, he had like a, a halter top jacket on. <laughs> like he was about to have his wife's baby. I swear to God. What? Well, you know he was big. Yeah. <laughs> when you see Ti in movies. 
I've never really seen him in comedy. Comedy, it, where it's a, it's he, a, he doesn't come he, across as being funny. You know what? He's uh, in a sense. Cause I just I was in front of Ti. Okay. A, um, a couple of months ago, the dude he he has a sense of humor. He's a Libra too. Not saying it had anything to do with it, but he uh you know and plus he's 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 mastering so much other stuff, man. So I'm not one of them dudes to be like, oh man, you can't do this. Like a lot of folks don't know I do music. Mm-hmm. Like the first Lady Luck, I got two songs in. Yeah. It. Um. Just finished, just dropped a verse on one of my cats' um, EP, man, and 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 finna ha- actually had do some more songs on clips. You rap uh, or you sing? Rap, but yeah. I, I write R and B as well. And so can you sing? Yeah, nah. I just I just kind of mess around on stage. <laughs> my daddy said I'm a lazy singer. He was like, "Hey, you can sing." You know, cause my my dad can sing his ass. Like, oh yeah. Mm. Oh man. So my they'll be up here this weekend because I have um um with some more Friday. Okay, and then uh, I shoot my special. I ain't that save yet. Saturday in Desoto, um, and then some, Thursday I'm at the Chocolate Lounge, so I get my full workout. That's why I was able to go to the dentist today. Wow, and, and I like that. Grind. You said I, I ain't that saved yet. Tell yeah. me about that. Cause that caught um, my attention. You know, uh, being with a woman that's Kojic, and I'm Baptist. You know, we from this. You know, so mm-hmm. and I, you know, and I've seen the, you know, the the holiness, the the Kojic, the whole nine. But what being is Baptist. It's Church of God right. in Christ. Okay. Yeah, when they wearing the drawers over their navel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the skirts down, but they, yeah. but they still nasty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I got, I got plenty of jokes about that, man. So <laughs> it, 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 it's real. So, um, you know, and I just started saying it on on one of the, on the phone call. One of my partners, shout out to my man, Blue, that does my, my, some of my web stuff and some of my video stuff. And I was like, man, I just ain't that saved yet. You know, so it's just, and I, I got, I got the ice to save shirts. Yeah, I ain't that save yet shirts, and okay. you know, hey, but it's it's, it's true but though. I like it's real. that. I can actually even see a play with that it's title. Dope. Yes, it's dope. That yeah. would that would I'm be an you. awesome yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you know, and it's and it's the truth because I'm like she's made me better as far as um, the spiritual side. You know what I mean? Because I'm like she loves us some Jesus. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, and I always have, and I, you know, and and our our, our lives have been similar at one point. She was homeless. At one point, I was homeless. You know, when I first moved up here, man, I I was actually living in a guy's storage because mm-hmm. he wouldn't give me a key to his crib. Mm-hmm. I lived in my car, but I knew I wasn't gonna go home. I was determined, but I always knew God never left me. You yeah. know what I mean? So, and that's what keep you humble too, bro. That's why I'm like, hey, man, when I meet good people, you know, like I say, hey, you from the crib? You know yeah. what I mean? So, it goes a long way, dog. And then uh, go through all the phases and to finally have a a mate. That you can relate to, that you want to fight for, yeah. which is the difference. Yeah, because most men will fuck around and be like, "Hey, man, I'm I'm out." Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I I did that so much. You know, uh, even when we first got together, I had that 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 whole wall. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That How whole wall build up. Um, she was grabbing my ass at um. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, she was grabbing my ass at a little play. You know, she thought you know my you know I ain't got that much ad, but the bottom of it, she was like, yeah, yeah. let me go on. That's let me that go part. That. But okay, now, it happened. Yes, it happened. Oh, oh, I like the way. Oh, yeah. Okay, I like, I like the way she is, admitted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah she grabbed, happened. but she, she was so cool with it. I like, did you just grab my ass? All right, all right, you don't make the mistake, player. <laughs> but no, this was after weeks of him flirting and yeah. just carrying on, and so finally I gave in. Yeah, yeah. So where where did y'all? It See was a each play. Other. Oh, it, was a it was it was actually at a play. She so was both there. of y'all in the play together. I was a stage manager. She was stage okay, manager. Okay, yeah. okay. So cool. she had she had these avatar contacts on with the Elvira <laughs> hairstyle. <laughs> wow. With great. Yeah. She. I like no, man. I she was sitting out just all Kojic, all Church of God in Christ yeah. like. You know what I mean? And then she used to tell me, um, you know, stuff ain't that funny because I was cracking jokes the whole time. For that play, you know what I mean. She so, playing hard. Oh, she playing hard. Ball. No, I was in the she middle of a divorce. Hard I was. To get I was. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just wasn't interested. Yeah. I didn't but I made it. They never I are. But she, yeah, yeah. I she was like, like, that's them. the way they're supposed to do it. And she was like, nah. She said, you know, you a womanizer or you a playboy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it was all true. Yeah. It wasn't uh, pretty much. Uh, but look how look how God a move in. So he melted your heart eventually. No. No. Honestly, okay. Tell me was, your okay. Your, it was the Holy Spirit, and I tell people this all the time. Um, I did not like him. I. It was really the Holy Spirit. Um, one of the first nights that, right before the play, he had to go to Houston for a show, and he had to come back for the play that next day. So it was literally a turnaround, and I was concerned that he was not gonna get enough rest or that he was gonna have an accident and I could not sleep. And I was actually really sleepy. 
And right. yeah. I think, I don't know how late it was, but I ended up texting him, letting him know I was praying for him, that he made it back safely. And he was like, I was falling asleep I at the wheel. And, and I had a chicken to call with me. Yeah. 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 And it was, to me, it was nothing like that. I yeah. There was so many members of the the cast mm -hmm. yeah. that I was trying to make sure everyone was on point and made it to where they needed to be on time and had everything together. But I just, mm. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, thank, God. yeah, thank God for Jesus. Man, come on, somebody, man. I'm <laughs> yeah. all right. Yeah, I'm yeah, all yeah. Right. My, my guy. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes, yes sir. Uh, angel. You know, the Bible says be careful to entertain strangers, right. but thereby some have entertained come angels. Come on, somebody. On Boy, I'm just going to be real. Don't make me take off this jacket. <laughs> <laughs> come on, somebody. I, I, just, I, I just see, you know, the fact that, that yeah. you know, God had to put you all together. Y'all won now. So yeah. that's, that's, that's dope, man. Yeah. So, um, what are you guys, where are you heading from here? Let's talk about something that. The uprising. Where we headed? Um, we ahead. trying to go to where we trying to go? Everywhere. No, I but we talked room. about Hawaii, oh, right? Hawaii. Upper room. Not right now, guys. Hey, hey, no, I'm I'm hey, hey, we just hey, got work to do. If anything happened to y'all, I'm coming to get all these clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you so, know what? So, I sure hate that happening. <laughs> <laughs> so, so listen, man. Listen. So, so get that you, you, you guys are are, are are you guys planning any big trips? And you know. Um, she turns 40 in March. Our anniversary is uh, March 12th. I have a show that day. Okay. Um, that's why I actually got to do another podcast when I leave here. And um, uh, to meet one of the young ladies that's uh, that's over the uh, the whole track thing. It's a track event. But um, so we're going to do something for our 40th birthday, man. Um, we're probably going to do some my anniversary weekend, too, even though I got that show that one day. So we'll probably do some. But we definitely going out of town. Uh, on the uh, on the eighteenth, I'm actually in Philadelphia, March seventeenth with Chubb Rock. Man, I need to, that's the guy right there. Yeah, he, Chubb is cool. So Chubb, I said I, I got to hook you up with Dana Dane. Man, Dana Dane is a good friend. When they of mine. come through here, man, hey, holla at your boy. It's a unique hustle. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. Man, they they good they good people, man. Uh, you got to get Sweet LD from Channel Three Five Seven. She lives here. That's up. Um, that's what's up. And I dance with her, you know, uh, uh, man, a whole lot, man. Whenever we get a chance, man. So it, I've been blessed to meet some great people in this business, man. You know what I mean? For real, no. for real. I so, get it. So it sounds like you. I mean, your boy said Lavelle Crawford. Well, now I'm a big Lavelle Crawford fan. Yeah, and he's yeah. a smaller Lavelle Crawford. I see that. I see that, man. Yeah. The boy disappearing, ain't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he lost that weight, man, but he, he still looked the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this dude right here, he still I the can't same. stand him. You're hey, he look, you remember, you remember Job of the Hut on uh, a. <laughs> he gonna kill us. On Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where is the lie? You know what I'm saying? Whoever, who, whoever said Lavelle Crawford was handsome? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> You know, Lavelle Crawford is a very handsome I comedian. Heard he's very funny, though. Yeah, he's oh, funny. He's really funny. funny. Yeah, he gonna come never, with it. He gonna come with yeah, it. He gonna come looking. with it. Yeah, he's but funny you, looking. But you, you got to think about you got, you got that, a hilarious. That, it face. was a whole phase for them when you had Bruce, Bruce, and all of them was running around oh, the same Bruce, time. Bruce, <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, my dude, man. I, you know, Bruce. I gotta give a shout out to Bruce, Bruce, man. When we did a show in Mississippi, and I still have the uh, the newspaper uh, clipping they wrote on online. He said, I was one of the next uh, kings of comedy. Mm. And he said this years ago. So I'm always grateful for stuff like that. And, um, you know, Steve Harvey um, showing me so much love, man. And uh, he said I was going to make it because I had the right attitude. You know, just stuff like that stick with me. Well, don't it stick you know with I mean? you? It stick with me, man. So he thought when I first introduced uh, Mrs. <laughs> Steve, I said, hey, man, this is my assistant. Because that's how she started off. And I was telling people that was my assistant. And I asked, do I say, hey, Steve? I said, it's my sister. He said, nigga. He said, I believe you better if you said that was your sister. As <laughs> soon as he looked at it, he was like, nah, bro, you can tell me something else. You ain't got nobody that's fine and cute <laughs> talking about your sister. Man, you know, you got somebody this fine. Your wife, that fine. I be throwing stuff on the floor to make her pick it up. Man, what you talking man, about, she man? Came, she came to sleep smelling good last night and started snoring on my Bruh. chest. I said, you gonna just smell like a whole Victoria's Secret closet and fall asleep? And I'm it, trying to reach down and grab some more of that cushion. Man, uh, listen, man. Okay. Hey, but, hey, okay. hey. So that's real, times, man. A lot of times when people look at y'all, you know how you said you had a... Um, Y'all were homeless. You went through some stuff, yes. different stuff. But people look at you and they judge. They say, oh, my, they got it. They they living good. But people don't know where you come from. Man, listen, man. Um, it is. She has a hell of a story. We both do. She just lost her dad last year, man. Um, yeah, you know, she was, um, 
She took care of him. Man, my wife is wonderful. Just the thing she did to be in the hospital. She was the only person that was at the hospital with him. Then he came home. She called me. And she said, you know, Pops, want to. Uh, my dad want to come home. I called him Pops. I was like, my dad want to come home, come home, come to our home. I said, man, I, I, I didn't even give it a second thought. Because I'm like, we all getting older. Right. You know what I mean? So How I, old we, was he? Uh, I was Pops. 62. Yeah. So yeah. he wasn't that old. Right. But, um, and it wasn't that he wanted to come live with us it's he really didn't have a choice he yeah. had are you uh, only child no no there's eight of us yeah wow and i'm not the mm-hmm. oldest she are you the only girl t- t- no t- there t- are t- one two t- five girls, to hear it. three boys mm. and so my dad ended up having a heart valve replacement liver and kidney transplant yeah. all in one that's a lot yeah. and it was a lot they had already given him six months to live whether he had the surgery or not so yeah. this was a choice that he made and so right. i was ICU with him for nine days and just it was a journey <coughs> and mm-hmm. he needed to stay with us because of um, the surgery was 19 hours I mean it was just a lot involved but my um, dad died at 61 so I definitely can relate yeah. so yeah. you know I'm sorry man yeah. you know and, and, and I'm I, that's why I, I tell her I, I never tell somebody that's lost a parent oh man you know I can relate because I still have my mom and dad mm-hmm. yeah so you know um, and she tell me all the time she said I'm about to put you in a straight jacket Something happened. Yeah, to yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah. mean, she probably ain't lying. No, she I'm ain't like, lying. No, she mm-hmm. ain't. You know what I mean? Because me and my dad, real cool. Um, we working on some stuff together. Um, you know, because my goal is, man, I, I really don't want her to work no more. Mm-hmm. You know, um, so we just putting up some plans in place, um, praying about it, man. And, um, you know, she pray, she pray over me when I'm asleep. I do the same thing. You know, sometimes I say something, sometimes I won't, and just get up and, Try to have the best attitude, man. You know what I mean? Because when you haven't been through so much, you like, man, it's, it's life is short. So you just try to get up with the right attitude. But you see, like what I always tell, I always tell our kids, um, because no, no one is promised to be here tomorrow. No, no. And so each day that you get that new day, yeah, make memories because at the end of the day, you can't take all of the money people Mm -hmm. lose money people lose all of that but one thing i'm always happy for is the memory we built Mm -hmm. this world tend to make you feel like i gotta work 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 to supply for my kids to to build to build to build but if you if you go tomorrow what your kids gonna say Mm -hmm. oh yeah she worked a lot Mm -hmm. that's the only value Mm -hmm. you really instill in them that i'm and they're gonna turn around and end up being the same person and just work 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 and not really just try to spend time with loved ones Mm -hmm. And build memories, and you know, and leave that valuable lesson with each yeah, other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, and I tell them that not only for myself, but for them, because if I go tomorrow, I don't want them to be, you know, all devastated. Yes, you're yeah. gonna hurt your human being, mm-hmm. but not be able to move forward. Right. Yeah. Or if something happened to them, I can't move forward. I know that it's a reason. God knows, I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And their yeah. job here on this world is done. Mm-hmm. That's mm. how I look on Man. life. <clears throat> Where did you meet? Where did y'all to meet? Let me ask y'all. Well, you know, first of all, you have to get the book. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she like, you know, I tell the kids, you know, that uh, God worry about me. Jesus got me. The Lord, the, the Holy Spirit got me. Hey, how is that? Huh? He's not doing a good job. Oh, no, he my just, my everybody. Oh, every time somebody do that, she be like. Hey, but she's so smooth with it. You know, I tell the kids, you know, they, if I go, do not cry over me. <laughs> Do not shit a tear. <laughs> Don't let him <them> cry. <laughs> hey, now we met actually in Terrell. We met in Terrell. I give him that much. Okay? Oh, Jamaican Terrell? No, Terrell. What? Jay- <laughs> Terrell, Texas. Terrell, Texas is where Jamie Foxx from. Okay, man. okay. Hey, they got a Christian college down there. Okay, and uh, that's where she was at, and I had I, I just happened to be in the area. Oh, God, really? God placed me in the area. You like, hey, so she stopped. You like, wait a minute, hey, excuse me, excuse me. Why you, you talk, talk like that? Oh, yeah, like, man, what? what? And you look good. So and I was I'm not trying mind. to hear it. Oh, I know you. She, she was, was mad. Like you was. She was like, what? Yeah. And now you, yeah. you had that country swing going. I didn't want to hear it. I did not want to hear it. First of all, I'm confident. So all that you don't want to hear it. I don't care about that. I'm coming. What? What? That's the whole game with us. I think the confidence builds the whole thing out mm-hmm. for us. We don't even mm-hmm. have to. It kicks doors in. Just boom, boom, get out the way. You, you we said come. What? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah Confidence yeah, yeah. comes straight through. What? And then you're going to have to believe us because we ain't going to shut up. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm going to keep talking. <laughs> Until you I'm going to keep out. talking, man. I'm going to keep talking, man. That's, and that's a good thing, man. We talk... Um, if she's if she if she's not working from home, man, we'll uh we'll have a conversation on the way to work. I give her a little time to get in the car, get her stuff together. And we'll talk on the way home. 
And we've been doing that since we've been together. Wow. That's so dope. Communication is key. Oh, so I want to know, because I heard you say that you were previously married. Mm -hmm. So what um, have you learned from the previous marriage that you now use to make this one better? <laughs> I was about to say absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking, you learn from mistakes. And you learn from, so, you know how you, when you move on, you're like, okay, I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. That's hard because I, I did the same thing. I ended, I did, I'll just say I did the same thing. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect, but I did not make a lot of mistakes. And so the divorce was not on me. It was on him. And he chose to leave and, I felt like I was going to do the same thing because I would find someone who loved me for who I was. And, mm -hmm. you know, one of the things that I did, I would always say to him is, what do you like? What makes you happy? Because mm -hmm. I always wanted to put his feelings, you know, first. I know right. people say yeah, m your feelings matter and put yourself first, but I'm always the person that puts someone else first. And that could be a mistake that I, you know, made over and over, but I don't know how not to be that person. Be a pleasing person. Right. Let me tell you something, man. God already know. Y'all, you, you, we walk in, in purpose. So it ain't like we just uh, come around. Do, we think yeah. we're doing something, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We really think we're doing something, but really he already got the plan wrote out. And y'all, yeah. that's what tripped me out about people who, they they say we believe, we pray, and everything else. But if you read the same book I read, everything is already predestined right. to happen mm -hmm. the way this is going to happen. Exactly. And that's kind of why written. I didn't do yeah. anything different. You know, mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, it is what it is. It's going to happen if it's supposed to happen. You know, I, it's just I try to let God be God. And, mm -hmm. you know, we've had some situations that were really tough and you know we struggled through it and if it's meant to be then yeah. it's gonna work out the regardless. difference is 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 um uh, me just walking out is uh me willing to fight which is a difference that's it if, you know which is a difference hey man you done stuck with me stuck with me through all this bullshit um let me show you i'm willing to to fight too and 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 you know a lot of time we as as men growing up we don't have a lot of examples of how to be a husband that's you it. know what I mean? So it's, you know, it's my second marriage too. You know, mm -hmm. so I was like, hey, um, I wanted it to work. I didn't want it to be in a divorce and nothing like that. Um, she did a lot. When I say I did a lot for me, man, I was, I wasn't even talking to like two of my daughters at one point. Wow. So at our wedding, she flew one of my daughters in and my other daughter was just having to be at the wedding as I was coming down the aisle. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she made that happen. That did you cry? Oh my God! Yeah, I was like, you see, like they were like, "Hey, Daddy!" I was like, "Oh!" Because <laughs> I'm, I'm that person that yeah. feels like family is important. You know, yeah. I it lost is. My mother. So many people That's just her. can't put their pride aside, though. They and can. I, and I, I, I'm, I'm huge. And listen, but I had made up in my mind there was nobody, any anybody, family, whatever that was gonna make me leave this woman alone. That's how. That's how strongly I felt. When when I married this woman, I, um, even one of my sisters, when she stopped doing for, you know, um, she started acting funny. So you know, you got you, we all got family members like yeah. that. There's some just, just stupid. You know what I mean? I'm like, man, you got the same 24 hours I got. Mm -hmm. You can get out here and hustle. You know what I'm saying? You can do the same thing I got. But hey, you settle. You you the one that chose to settle for this type of lifestyle. So that ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? I so, think that's. I think that's. You know. <sighs> I go back to the word of God. You know, I, yeah. I teach, so I, I be thinking about, I think about scripture when you're talking. I'm yes, kind of oh, different. Like, oh, I'm trying, too. Because I be trying to figure out where this fit mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. what I read. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of times that's kind of how I flow. So yeah. the thing I look at is there's always been spiritual warfare. That's all you're talking about. Yes, sir. It, it, we, we put it to an individual, but but Satan is busy, brother. Oh, man. He all over the place trying to figure out how he can what? He divide, divide. He divide. Yeah. and conquer. And destroy. Yeah, right. it, it's like when she, when, I, when her dad passed, <clears throat> man, um, like a couple of her brothers, I had to check their ass. Yeah. I had to, because when I tell you she put everything together and they was talking reckless. I like me a little bit about mm. the checking. I, I don't play, I say so. Say, dog, I was ready to roll up on them and wasn't playing no games. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She was like, but then she, the fact that she let me handle it, I'm like, nah, we ain't for to bring that type of negativity into this house not 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 from some folks that didn't help you do shit on um, real talk your and burying your daddy and you know all of a sudden you you want to have an issue with you no nah, that ain't finna happen you no. know what i'm saying um for real so she literally i was gonna run up on one of her brothers and i was like yo 
And she said, I want to go too. <laughs> <laughs> she, said, I'm going. she said, I'm going too. I wasn't going to let her know. I was like, hey, I said, bro, where you at? He said, I'm in Grand Prairie. I said, I said, what's the address? And he ain't dropped that address. No, he ain't dropped I was going by myself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was like, nah. Yeah, because, you know, these are brothers that yeah. they should have been the one bathing my father. I should not have been yep. having to clean my father's testicles, you know, yeah, yeah. and change his depends and put him in the shower when there's three grown men that can do this yep. outside of my husband and my boys and you know for them to just be so disrespectful oh, and say you know that's the part right there i you know i don't i don't owe him you Nothing. know anything but i want everything he had for me or you know i hope you f and die and you know Tell they were just so this. disrespectful, very disrespectful i think that's the you know devil, what I, bro like, you know what i, I, I hate to say cases it. like that because Situations like that come up is not only for them, but to make pull you out of it because to make you angry. And but in did. cases like, and I understand. When I tell you, I understand. I understand. Is a case where you have to just pray about it and say, mm -hmm. God, I forgive because you don't want any of that animosity mm -hmm. to come into your heart because mm -hmm. that's what the devil is trying mm -hmm. to do is bring all of that because he knows how to try to get to you oh, through your father. It oh, through man. your brothers. It, 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 or your brothers. I mean, night, I had to, I had to, you had to let it go. I did. did. I had to block she, she, them. She literally did. And, and even, yeah, my one of my sisters, she was like, I know who you are now, but I need you to deep. Dig, dig deep. really, yeah. really deep, and bring that old Misty out, and Man. just you know let them know about themselves. And, and, she, like, and, and my wife, she's she's like, she's like, she's like she's a dog going next. to his own vomit. You no. can't do that. I was like, like I when can't. God take you from from one place to that's the Man. whole game with me. We don't have people to say stuff about us and all kind of stuff. But I'm the type of dude, man. I can't nice go against. No, I can't go against what God time. had already pulled me from. Because yeah. I go there. And when I go there, it's different than when everybody else go there. Because I'm extremist. Right. Y'all don't really know my story. My story is different. Like, mm -hmm. like it goes all the way. One, it go from zero to a hundred real quick. Who, what, hey. I'm yeah. telling you. Like, I Man. can't do halfway stuff. Yeah. That's why we've been married for 20 years. Because I don't go half. I go all the way or nothing. Yeah. So I'm trying not to go at all. Because if I go, I ain't, I'm going to lose right. my family. I'm Man. just being real. And that, and that's, and that's, and I, I and I knew that because I'm like, once you tell me something, she hate to tell me something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm more, I'm really more so protective of her uh, now. She probably wouldn't, she have to tell me. But I'm like, man, you know, I, I just don't play no games like no, that. No, I don't play. I, I don't, I don't uh, play no games. Before you tell like him, that. just say, baby, let, let's read these um, verses right you here. You got to. That, without that, <laughs> I, let, I Let's go. pray first before fact, I tell you. I can't do it, bro. Matter of fact, I, I was, um, I had got off the cruise ship and she didn't go with me. And I had left my truck to uh, get a tune up. So I had spent a lot of money getting this tune up. So I drove, I got in the truck and I drove, um, I forgot where I was headed, baby. I was off, headed off a of 35 or something. So it kept leaking um, antifreeze. Mm -hmm. So I said, man, I said, maybe, I said, well, I said, maybe I'm tripping. I put that antifreeze, some more antifreeze off, and it came and it started leaking. I had to pull off on the side of the road. First person I called was her. And, well, actually, I called a guy for it and I called, and then I called her. So that's zero to 100, and I had spent all that money. I said, dog, I ain't paying for shit when I bring this <laughs> truck back. And I'm telling her, I said, man, I'm finna shoot this whole goddamn. <laughs> See what man, I was, I was so hot. My, and this is my wife, Ellis. <laughs> have you eaten? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, that's how she was talking to me. She was like, I ain't finna match his boy because I like he is. I, I am like right there because I'm like, yeah. man, I work hard for my bread. Yeah, dog. it's so like you playing with you. Me. Say, don't bro. play with and my money. Man, working, with my... working on my car at that time. I didn't say nothing to him when I got there. I didn't say nothing to him. I dropped my truck off. I said, man, I don't give a damn who fix it. Just fix it. And I and I, I had to leave. I had to go ahead and leave, bro. But I because I, I knew I was already there. Yeah, yeah, you could take it there. Well, I got let me pull you back. Um, top three comedians of, of all time. time. Dead or alive. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, number man. one. Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac number one. Yeah, that's my guy. Man, that's, that's dope. That's, that's my guy. Number that, two. Um gotta say Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor, number two. He's giving Pryor. all the greats, number three. Yeah. Um, I got to say more than likely uh, Robin Harris. Robin Harris. Robin Harris on stage was fearless. He was, wow. he was, he had the, once you get the hardest dudes in the room, Bubba Dub had a, had a thugged out ass audience. Think about that. Yeah. He had some, he had mm -hmm. some dudes that was some older That's, OGs mm -hmm. and all. Yeah, yeah. So to have them laugh and, and standing up and, 
and cracking up and having a good time because dog they be ready they be ready to fight. Oh but yeah, you, you got to be able to reach your audience and engage with them and talk about shit they can relate to, and it makes the world of a difference. Robin Harris did the same thing. He was talking about Crips and Bloods in his own club. Yeah, you know, and uh, Bernie was just relentless, and Richard Pryor was a hell of a storyteller. So now I'm really I'm in the storytelling now. So usually. Um, like I only have 15 minutes at the Samoa show, so I can't really get into my storytelling like I would like to, you know what I mean? But like my 30 minute special, I got some shit I got to say. Let me ask you something. Oh, I want to know how can people get a hold of you? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. I Is that to what know, you was about I there? Want, I wanted to know Misty's top three because she might have a different top three than he does. Okay. Oh. Yeah. oh. I don't. I don't she, know. She I didn't have even like know. Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah, 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 Jerry yeah. Seinfeld. She might have the Golden Girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't have a top three. I really wasn't even into comedy, comedy. before him. Before him, I had never been to a comedy show. I had she seen. She critiques the shit out of me. I do. I you. promise you. She's like, baby, that didn't work. Or oh, that'll work. Or come back with this. Won't you add this? So and so and so. Wow, so. that's yeah. dope. But, you've been, but you've been to a lot of comedy shows with him now. So mm-hmm. since you critique him so well, when you see other comics come up, do you also like critique them somewhat? Of course, I do. Mm. I do. Um, I don't. I, I don't say it to them. Of, of course. course. But you know, there's some things that I see that oh, he could have said this or done this or presented it a certain way. But I do. So um, out of all of the ones that you have seen, who is your number one? I love Lamar. Lamar um, Jones. Lamar Jones. He is just really funny to me. Um, yeah, he's a cat here. I love Shed G. I'm not just saying it because he's with the Rat Packs, but he is Church of God in Christ. He's coaching. <laughs> <laughs> and so he'll say some, you know, jokes that I think is, is really funny. Um, mm-hmm. And I don't know. I don't know if I have a number three. I have to think on that. <laughs> I don't okay, know what you see him say me. Though. I know. I, was I, I, like, hey, hey, I already know you number because, one. Yeah, but yeah, right. Yeah, that but goes without saying, right? She, she, I always tell, tell him that I feel like his improv is the best I have ever seen. And I remember when I first um, saw him perform, I said to him, "I don't know why I your name is not there. I right. don't know and I do believe why." That too. I you say are that not too. Bigger than you are. No, I think of and Steve Harvey and and him and the way he he doing his thing. I was like, dang! The other night I just seen it one time, but I know the feel of how you controlling that room like that and and coming back and doing it. I seen niggas try to do that and it wasn't like <laughs> that, not, bro. It's different. You know what I'm saying? I <laughs> seen and, try, and, you know what I'm saying? I don't see these you, niggas try you. to come back up there and, and when right. they coming, I'm like, hurry up and get the person up here. <laughs> Am I right? We don't want to see this, nigga. We want we come to see yes. uh, Eddie Griffin, nigga. Right. Get out from up here. And so to me, it's funny oh because I, I understand. Well, to me, there is a difference between improv and comedy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I've learned. And so if again, I think he is number one. He can read a situation. He has the best comebacks I have ever seen. The quickest comebacks I've seen. Um, so, mm-hmm. yeah. So what, what is stopping you from being there? Um, the, the, the right team, putting the right people in place. And um, because uh, – when you know where you are, as far as your career, you you want settle. You know what I mean? Like you got folks that say, "Hey, man, I want to be your manager." I'd be like, "Can you take my career more than what it's at?" Like, like my guy. Who uh, is he? Have you done anybody else's career? I'm crazy. I go to ask him questions. What have you done? Oh, no. Oh, and she she be. I be tripping. Like nigga, I don't want. It's certain people come to me about managing them. I be like, nigga, I'm trying to manage me. <laughs> And a yeah. lot of people be asking us. I'm mean, yeah. like, you just going with you on the height, nigga. I don't know what to do with you, oh, man. I'm not gonna help your career, nigga. I'm not giving you no money. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, and it's it's it's, it's 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 and it's the difference of when folks see, like I I I've built such a brand on my own. What are you gonna What are you gonna no, do? They to trying me? to ride the wave, bro. And so I, I had to get rid of cats like that. Yeah. Like it's, it's only a certain amount of people. Like hey, she, and she said all the time, hey, are they gonna take you? Further than what you already are, yeah. You know what I mean, and I and and I definitely get that. Like one of my dudes, I've been knowing since 2017. He literally got here two weeks ago, put the money down for the Texas County show. I can't wait. And it, it, you know, and I mean, didn't hesitate. I mean, you know, and he said, hey, "Bro, I got faith in you." 
Um, and it's a tour I can't announce yet, uh, you know, until we find out for sure. Finalize everything. Yeah, so, and um, he took me to one of the guys' houses, and he was like, hey, he said, we're going to go over here. Yeah, I'm going to try to get you on this tour. And it's, it's a huge tour. So I get that tour, bro. It's on. It, it's it, up. It, it's, it's no question. Yeah. It, it is. That be, it is. God is placing you where you need to be. Man, listen, I and and. This this is one of the moments I said, uh, you know, we pray for each other, man. When I placed my hands on my wife last night, that was one of my one of my deep prayers. Is also um, a peace of mind and and just saying, hey, you know, just want to live life peaceful. Because when a man and a woman has peace, but when a man has peace, man, it's so much he can accomplish and and he and go I, hard. And I think at I think when he gets to a point where him and God are like this, I think that's when his career will elevate. Uh, uh, yeah. That is what I feel, because I'm on that spiritual side. I feel like, yes, people can put you in the right position, but God can do better than that. So oh, hands seek down. him first and everything mm -hmm. that he has to offer, and the doors will be opened. Amen. So sure. I feel like when he gets to that place where – he is totally dependent upon God. I think it will change, man. And I, and I, I agree with change. you. I agree with that. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it's a it's a place where when you when you seeking it, you know, it, you gotta you gotta die daily. It's a, it's a die daily situation where you still you you know you still you, but you become a better you. Oh, that's a better you yeah. when you're dealing with wholeness in God. Right. And that's what you're talking about. Right. Yeah. And I think that's the difference in how we grew up, you know, the background. And I then this is no shade to my husband because he says all the time, I'm learning a little bit more from you. But you know, there are some people who learn to be surface lovers of God. And there's some people that dig way down deep and they are very rooted and grounded. And I think I am a rooted and grounded person, and I'm trying to get him rooted well, as well. I, you do know. you think it's the reading? Because you're probably a reader. Yeah, she definitely. She's 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 because that connection that. to reading and praying and stuff, mm -hmm. that personal relationship is what pulls you closer. I'm yeah. telling you, that it time does. when you're willing to 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 give God your time, because yeah. most people be trying to give him a tenth of their right. tithe, but they need to give him right. a tenth of their time. Of course. Right. And it's they don't do that, man. Like people yeah. don't give God and I, time. And I try to, I don't want to be forceful, but no. there are times when I'll say, I need you to pray. Yeah. And, and, and whether it's five seconds or, you know, a minute, it's better than nothing. So I'm steady trying to get him to where he doesn't, I don't want to push him away. You know, you don't want to be so churchy. You know, so that is where he got that. I'm not that saved yet. So because there were things that I was asking him to do or, you know, let's fast and let's pray. Yeah. Let's get on our knees and but pray. But everything and has to have balance. You right. Know and that. we're still trying to get yeah. that balance because he's. He his his lifestyle is completely different. I grew up in church. My dad was a preacher. I mean, you know, it was Damn. vacation Bible schools and revivals and and it's yeah. embedded. The scripture is embedded. He would say, I have a scripture for everything, and I do. And that is what has carried me through my mother's death, now through my father's death, and all of the, you know, just it, it has carried me. And he grew up the hard way. This is that hard knock life. And so he only know the streets, and he knows how to get what he needs. And I don't want to say manipulate people, but he works the system because that you know so and that is where i think it balances both of us because i don't know how to you know right. i'm a straight by the, <clears throat> the yes. book type of mm -hmm. person you know yeah. i've been with the with doing title insurance for almost 22 years now yeah. you know i'm 40 and i've been doing the same thing for 22 years so i'm a you know straight yeah. shooter and and he's kind of like hey let's work it let's figure it out and let's maneuver so i think that's where we're both trying to balance you know, so I can understand that other side yeah, because he used to call me green you know? man, because <laughs> I knew time, nothing. Of course, us, um, you know, growing up where we was growing up, man. So, you know, I did. Um, I didn't say it was forced, but, you know, when you go to revival at the revival. Yeah. And, you know, and then I did have a balance where she was in church all the time. I did have another, you know, another mm -hmm. side to me all mm -hmm. together. But and at the same time, she this is the same woman that, that uh, helped me get learn how to for me to keep my checking accounts out of the negative. She was yeah. like, you just can't swipe your car. Yeah. And I'm a, I was an older dude because I was used to carrying cash. Yeah. So now I'm getting my business credit together. And you, 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 you know, at, at one point she stopped asking me because at one she said, Hey, how's your, how's your checking account? So now I have five different accounts. I have my LLC. That's right. All my taxes paid up. She was on me about that. And which a lot of, 
if you don't know growing up like that, you just don't know. You know what I mean? So you're like, man, you know what? She she got me focused on that end too. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and and, and hey, and I love God without more because I know I wouldn't be where I'm at first and foremost without him. Man, you come on, I, mean? I already see it in you. And mm-hmm. the thing about it is, I didn't grow up in no church. Mm-hmm. I ain't never been a member of any church. It's it, it's the God in me. Yeah, right. you know what I'm talking about. Yes, like I, like God took. I went through a lot of things that got me Same to where here. I'm at right now. Exactly. So just like you quote scripture, just cause you mm-hmm. you you been through church, mm-hmm. I felt like when I bumped my head, I lost my mama early on. So I lost my mom. I lost a lot of different. How old things. were you? Uh, I think it was twenty twenty three. She was ten. Yeah, but but the yeah, thing is, crazy. It's when you early. when you hustling, yes, and 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 you ain't tripping on nothing because you that's your that's your God. Yes, mm-hmm. your parents is your God when you ain't real. That's how you can run around and act like everything okay. But when that foundation is shift and you have to start understanding how to pray for yourself and, and really I, don't, because you live off of your parents' right. prayer a lot of times, man. man and it, go ahead, baby. No, and I was just gonna say that's why I told him as he said earlier if. if I am so grateful that he still has his parents. Yeah. And I tell him all the time, his parents are his biggest supporters. Mm-hmm. I have seen it, mm-hmm. you know, and I tell him he is blessed Very that blessed. they are still here. And when I wanted to live my dream, my dad was, no, that's not what we do. You know, we have mm-hmm. a career. We do this yeah. and we do that. But for the fact that his parents would say to him, you know, go live your dream. Yeah. We are there for you. You know, you do it. Whatever you want to do, we got it. We're supporting you. I know that he's always had that foundation. And so, God forbid, something happens to either one of them. It's going to be difficult for him. And, and what's crazy, man, is um, a lot of folks don't know my mother was a, was on crack for years. Okay. But I've never disrespected my mom. I remember finding uh, mother's crack pipe. Yeah. You know, and, you know, and as a kid, you can either go one or two ways when you see that. You know what I mean? But I, you know, I had money stole from me, but I never treated my mom any different. Never. And you know, that's I'm still grateful to still have her. And, and, and that, like I said, going through that, those yes. are things, those are levels, man. Yeah. You, you know, that, don't, that's growth, to be honest with you, to be able to see what you've seen. Oh, my that's God. That's still, that's another way that God connects with you. You know, anytime you go through something, what don't kill you, make you stronger. Man, so, I, never, I never forget when a cat um, called my mother a crackhead. Oh, my God, bro. Man, I was in junior high. But to know that somebody else knew your mother was a crackhead, one of my best friends to this day, he ran around the bus, and he was like, "Hey, man, you know, you, you, because I, I felt like I was gonna kill that dude, you know." But you know, that crack era was a mug. You dude. can't tell me nothing about it. I got a functioning crackhead uncle right now. Yeah, functioning, functioning, functioning. crack. That joker could pull a whole motor out with his teeth that he yeah. don't have no more. He ain't tripping at all. You know, man. What I mean? Yeah, so we've seen it all, man. Let, let me know how how can people get a hold of you if yeah. they're trying to link up with you, if they're trying to book you. Can they book you? You know, you you elevated too high to be booked. Nah, you, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, my wife do my contracts. Okay. You know what I'm saying. So we in, I'm in talks with a. Um, a couple of people as far as um, um, managers, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to work the, the things out. But definitely my boy Travis, um, he's probably going to be my road manager. Okay. So he's a – and she loved him. And his, his girl, I meant to bring the shades that she has. She has like third uh, – what's the third eyewear? Mm-hmm. Third okay. eyewear, man. Beyonce reposted her stuff, man. Dope. So she gave us uh, like an octagon joint five in five shades deep. Wow. It's nice. You can just roll it out, man. Wow. It's, it's you know, it's just you know, I like I like support my black people too, man. But I'm on ninety four point five. Oh Saturday. yeah, 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 yeah. What time? Ten a.m. to two p.m. The man cave. My boy DJ Smooth with the VE. We got the number one show doing the day. So I got. I got. I got to come. I got to come through that thing, man. Mm-hmm. You got to come you know, through. I, I rock ball. with you. You, hey, you don't even know. I'm, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> got, so yeah, they can reach me, man, at dlsworld.com or on Instagram, dlsent. Um, and do, can people ho- um, hire you just to host an event? Yes. It doesn't have to be any, you know, comedy show or anything like that. Yes. Because yes. your personality is like amazing with hosting. You know how to deal with deal with stuff, man. A Thank lot you. of people. That's a gift. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, have you ever I, I hosted a wedding? It. Yes. Yes. Well, who who wedding did I host? Maybe. Um, who was that? That would be well, hilarious. It was kind of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You didn't technically host, <laughs> but you ended up running <laughs> that, <laughs> running that thing. I mean, for a couple of yeah, because you know, once you you know, once I'm there, I like for everybody to have fun, man. right? You know what I mean? So I I do weddings. I even did. Um, um, I mean, I'm actually got a uh, right before I do the show Friday. I got to go to a funeral in Texas, Canada. One of my okay. classmates pa- passed away to sleep. Thank you, bro. And his mama was like my mom, and um, 
you know, um, he, he just had health issues, man. But at one of our other classmates' funerals, I got up and spoke. Oh, my God. And she said she never forgot that. Wow. Man. And so I had everybody you had cracking people up. people laughing. Oh, man. I had folks cracking mm-hmm. up. And I was okay until her mama stood up and started clapping. Wow. I lost it. He started crying. Oh, oh man. I started. Lo- I lost it, man. So, you know, um, just the, the joy of laughter, man. We laugh. Well, I tell you, we laugh every day about something. The other day, and she was like, man, quit putting my business out there. Man, my wife came in there because we have somebody to come clean the house no, every once sir. in a while. No, sir. Man, <laughs> it was the funniest thing. She was carrying her clothes in the living room. So she, it was a bunch of clothes. My wife got a lot of clothes. She threw them on the couch in the living room, man. When she threw them on the couch, man, when I tell you, it was the loudest fart trying it to throw them not. clothes. <laughs> She was like, she looked up with me like, did you hear that? I'm like, yeah. I heard, he loves to embarrass I heard you. Oh, you can't do nothing man. in front of him. He oh, loves man. to embarrass me. No, I he get it. Because it's like, me. you don't think that your woman even for it. My, my like, wife, listen, it's man. It's like, you don't post to do, do it. all things you don't want to do it. I pass gas. My wife, okay. my wife <laughs> Thank is you. the Out of all of the great things I can do, I pass gas. My wife is brilliant. So she's like, we ain't going to have it. And I'm like, what? Oh, and she fought in her sleep, man. It's hilarious. He it is hilarious. I look at her. She be like, she will wake up. She wake. She. My wife is one of the most elegant women ever. Even when she passed gas, she wake up. If she hear it hard enough, <laughs> she open her eyes. And she be like, oh, so sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so she always she open her eyes, and I'm like, yeah, that's what you get. You married a comedian. <laughs> so it's hilarious, man. Uh, the bishop that married us, he said, mm-hmm. wait. Your church of God in Christ and he's Baptist. How did this happen? <laughs> because you are completely opposite. Wow. Completely opposite, man. But well, I, I love I would it, change man. it for the world, man. I know it. And and, and then to be able to uh have a good time in the midst of whatever, man, that's a gift in itself, man. You know oh, man. we we have to try date to figure nights. out ways to we the date night thing, we try that, but then life just keep hitting us in the face. Yeah. We gotta figure it out. We do good for a little bit, then we have to retract right well, at least you try. We well, talk well, try. we talk like we going out of town. We like, man, we going I'm not for to do this stuff. We're not we gonna be put interviewing and all that. Let's put this stuff away. We got too much stuff going on. And, and, and because we work a lot. So yes. we can try and fit then the kids. But that's mm-hmm. no excuse. We gotta figure it out. Yeah, you, you definitely gotta spend time with each other, man. We definitely um, do that. Communicate. No, we do, man. Like like she she like she like she love TikTok. You been Last dancing night? on TikTok? No. no. My son says I'm stuck on the so, Christian side of TikTok. But that's okay. <laughs> I but you can do a Christian night. TikTok. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, man. And, she, and she's talented, man. My wife does her own nails, her own hair. Really? She's cold, man. Does her My own wife feet. do that, too, though. I can't I can't lie. Being being Jamaican, man, she come with it. Man, I see And there, the food, I'll the probably, cooking over there at my house, it's, it's a pot. What? Ooh. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, don't. I ain't well, going nowhere, my wife, man. Oh, my, wife, my wife don't cook no more, so I do all the cooking. She oh, yeah? Was, uh, but she'll cook, she'll cook some dressing or something during Thanksgiving. I only cook for holidays. That's it. But, but that's my still cooking dope, days are though. over. <laughs> you, yeah. you done with it? I'm done. I'm like, hey, I'm for the cook You do dish. everything else. I, I do. Yes, yes. I do she enough. She busts up behind. She, she, I'm, she's a grinder. The job has balance. Me, just, the, all the expressing yeah. is balance, man. Balance yeah. is what you guys she learning to She's learning to enjoy yourself more. Like, we, we leave next week to go for a whole week on the cabin. Wow. You know what I'm so we in like, Oklahoma? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's dope. We about to we about to yeah, do something do like it. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we, we you know going we going with Spin and Q and uh That's dope. more couple. Uh-oh. And, uh oh. Yeah. Nina and T. Uh, yeah. Nina and uh Ken yes. and Nee and Brandon. Yeah, so well. it's, it's it's four couples, man. That's and that, and that and you know and that's, it's real cool when you can go with some married couples mm-hmm. and have some fun, man, cuz the last time we went uh No. No. No, sir. Say, man, we about to shut it down yeah, anyway. I'm going to shut it down. Put, he hey, man, we do. love y'all. <laughs> hey, listen, we love we y'all, man. More, man. Listen, man, we, me, this bro. ain't the last time. Oh, no, sir. No, nah, this periodically happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, man. Check it, Anytime man. Anytime you need me, dog, just just. I'm going to hold you to that. I mean, for real. I mean, I told yeah. my wife, Missed I say, when we don't have When we don't have to leave, you know. We'll, we'll just set up a couple's night right here and talk and have a good time. I love some Jamaican food now. Hey, we bring food up here. And I love some Jamaican food. You like spicy? Yeah. Oh, and now, now I got my wife eating a, a lot more spicier food too. Now she be eating the hell out of them sunflower seeds. <laughs> Our whole room smelled like some hate the other night. <laughs> Check it, man. I'm getting out of here, man. <laughs> hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, man. Thank yeah. you.